Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Essence. Welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well. So here's a fragrance that I've had in my collection for quite a number of years now. It originally came out back in 2014. I haven't gotten around to reviewing it, but this one is called Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet by Christian Dior. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on the scent, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my perfume review of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet by Christian Dior, and I tell you all about this fragrance, what it smells like, how long it lasts, how long it performs, so on and so forth, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you got to do is click on that red button in the corner. It would mean so much to me. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. So. Here is a fragrance that was created by Francois Damachy, who used to be the in-house perfumer for Christian Dior for many years. Since then, the new in-house perfumer is Francis Kirkjohn. And here we have a fragrance that is a flanker, of course, to the original Miss Dior. This one came out in 2014, and this one is called Blooming Bouquet. Now, this one does have a lot of floral notes, as the name implies. It has damask rose, it also has a pink peony if I remember correctly, but it also has some fruity ingredients like peach and apricot with a musky base. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell, but let's start things off with the presentation. Now this fragrance opens up with a sparkling introduction. Now it is a floral fragrance, so you are gonna get the rose and the peony that really dominate the heart of the composition. But in the opening, you are gonna get that crisp bergamot. There's also something a little sparkling about it, and I actually quite like the opening a bit. Uh, it's very effervescent, it conveys a sense of femininity, and it's really appealing. Now, as the fragrance dries down, that's when the florals really come into play. So you're gonna get this combination of the damask rose and the pink peony. And I've encountered so many fragrances in the past with rose and peony. Um, I know Delina by Parfum de Marly is one of them. Although that one is kind of sweet in an unconventionally fruity way. That one has lychee. This one has the apricot and the peach. Now these are ingredients that are quite common in fruity floral fragrances, especially on the women's designer side of things. And they're often paired with jasmine or gardenia. So here what we're seeing is this unique combination of two floral ingredients, the pink peony and the damask rose. And the rose in here smells very nice. There's another fragrance, I think it's called Rock and Roses. I've reviewed that one as well. That one is a really strong rose-based fragrance. This one, on the other hand, kind of shares a spotlight between the florals and the fruits. And the fruits are gonna make it smell a little bit more traditional, if you will. Not super unconventional, not super modern or avant-garde or anything like that, but it's a very classy, elegant, youthful, feminine fragrance. And then of course that soft, musky base is the perfect completion to this fragrance. This is a fragrance where whenever I get whiffs of it, I just can't help but think this smells really sexy. A woman, a confident woman pulling this one off is going to increase her attractiveness. In my personal opinion, I would be inclined to follow her around because I really enjoy the way that this one smells. I think Rock and Roses, if I'm getting the name correct, is a little bit more on the daring side of things and you really have to be a fan of rose-based fragrances to appreciate that one. But if you're looking for something very elegant, very posh and sophisticated. I think Misty or Blooming Bouquet is an awesome, awesome fragrance. Uh, this is one that I purchased for my wife. She enjoys the original Miss Dior. Uh, this is one that she hasn't worn quite a whole lot, especially as of lately. But this is one where every time she wears it, I personally love the way that it smells on her. It's a really great fragrance and I'm happy to have it in my collection, in our collection, I guess I could say. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, um, this one is not the most unique fragrance out there. Of course, Zara has put out a number of fragrances that kind of clone it or twist it. However, this did come first, but it's not something totally different in terms of the fruity floral genre but I think it does have its own unique identity. And so I really appreciate this fragrance for that reason. Even if you put it up against other fruity floral fragrances, I'm pretty 
pretty convinced that I'll know whenever I'm smelling Blooming Bouquet uh, by Christian Dior. Overall smell is very pleasant, very attractive, very likable. Longevity on this one is about eight hours on my skin. The projection was great for the first hour and a half of application. It did start to sit closer to the skin pretty early on, right around that four hour mark and right around that eight hour mark is when it kind of completely vanished off my skin. In terms of the versatility on this one, very versatile. I think this one would work really well in the spring and summer. I think it can be worn um, by somebody who's a little bit younger as well as somebody who's a bit older, more mature. I think this one is pretty versatile in that regard. And I think this one can be worn casually and formally as well. It's just very classy, very elegant in my opinion. And that increases the versatility of the fragrance by a whole lot. In terms of the presentation, I like the ribbon on it. I like the pink color of the liquid. It definitely brings out the feminine traits of the perfume. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you are looking for a fruity floral fragrance, emphasis on the florals and you are a fan of peony and rose, definitely check this one out. I think Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet is a beautiful perfume, very versatile, great for the hotter weather, but you can wear it when the temperatures start to drop by just a little bit. I think it's a very versatile, very well done composition by Francois de Machy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you took something of value from this perfume review of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet by Christian Dior. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.